Well, Burnley is expecting a routine victory against us in today's episode. They are fourth in the Premier League, and we've got a bunch of injuries. We open up in England. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first leg of the Euro Cup semifinals. We're in the yellow kits, and you notice right there in central mid is the young Lopez, 18 years old. The keeper there, Sully, cannot get on it as Lonnie gets a second effort, and he puts it into the net to spot us a 1-0 lead. But yes, we are having to play an 18-year-old in the semifinals of the Euro Cup because, oh, and Janderson gets sat down by Buck and looks horrible, doesn't even make a play on the ball. That's the equalizer. Doyle got hurt. He's going to be out for the rest of the season, so we are down to really bare bones. There's a drive over the top. Davies splits Gunderson and Lynch and puts them up 2-1. to one. Sorare, can we equalize? Second half, 53rd minute, breaks it inside, lays it off. There's young Bowden, who has been starting due to injury this second half of the season, and he equalizes for us. 60th minute, Hood, a bounce around shot inside the six yard box. Keeling puts it in, and things look bad. We're in the 88th minute. Krisnik trying to make something happen, finds Kamara off the bench and it's across the keeper misses it but it goes off of hood and it's an own goal to equalize 89th minute and that's how it would stand we got lucky here because we were outplayed possession was 50 50 but they they had more shots a lot more on target uh Maserec made his debut in the 66th minute take a look at him uh he is 17 years old that's what we're reduced to playing right now in fairness, he's four and a half star potential, but he's only two star current ability. Five foot six. He's not a center back, but center mid, I think he could do the job. Not not the best passer, only a 10. But we needed him. We needed him. Taking a look at what has been going on since the last episode. We beat Verter 1-0, a goal by Fala. A 2-2 draw with Borussia Dortmund, Cernan, and Sorare with the goals for us. And right now, that puts us third position. Bayern, Munich, and Leipzig have secured Euro Cup, Euro Cup 2, uh, just because there's still games left in the season. But they're going to be Champions League, I'm sure. Uh, we are still holding our own at 58 points still in this log jam with Borussia Dortmund and Borussia Mladenburg all on 58 points we do hold a plus 3 goal differential over Dortmund and a plus 11 goal differential over Mladenburg uh we play how many games so we have 3 left so 34 games 3 is 9 so we can finish no worse than 7th probably 6th so I think we're going to have a huge year, huge year. Robert Cernan, leading goal scorer for the club in all categories, in all competitions, tied with Aslani in the Pokal. But he has had a stellar year. I know you guys like to keep an eye on that, so let's pop over and look at the goals. 31 for Cernan, 25, not a shabby year for Aslani. Jack Hunter with seven, only 19 starts, 19 off the bench. Doyle, Serrer. Six and five, have Wander, four from the midfield, four and 15 for the young Bowden in the second half of the season. Lynch, three and 24. And you can see most of these guys, with the exception of Sorare, he's got an 8.28 XG and only five goals. So we'd like to see an improvement there. But if we take a look at our assist leaders, Doyle, that will be sorely, sorely missed. 12 for Aslani playing up top. A lot of assists to Cernan. And then uh, we've got Sorare, Krisnik, and Sahin on six. You'll notice all the injuries. Doyle, 
twisted ankle against Borussia Dortmund. He's going to miss three more weeks, so I think he's done for the year. Uh, Sahin was uh, suffered some sprained knee ligaments in training. He's out six weeks. I think he's done for the year. Uh, Jack Hunter will be back to full strength. Gunderson is suspended for the next match. Uh, today's, uh, well, the highlight match against Doyle. Doyle. Doyle's dead. Uh, against Burnley. Wow. Pull it together. Uh, and then, uh, of course, a couple of unregistered guys uh, for the matches. The young guys can come in, thankfully, because we obviously need them in Central Mid. Uh, we'll have to get them registered for next year. Uh, we're not expecting this. So, all right, well, let's come back for the home leg against Burnley. I have to play FCN off camera. Uh, FC Nuremberg, they are in relegation. I believe they're 16th. They're close to relegation at least. So let me get that done, and we'll be back for Burnley in just a second. Well, we drew with FCN. 1-1, Jack Hunter got the goal, which gave him a pretty hefty bonus. Uh, combined 10 goals and 10 assists on the season. So he got a nice little six-figure bonus. I think $100,000, maybe $150,000. Uh, but anyway, two games left in the Bundesliga. We, are, we have dropped to fourth position as Borussia Dortmund won. Uh <laughs> Yeah, it's slipping away from us, and we have got a lot of injuries. We had so many guys from our U18 squad just to fill out the bench in that last match. And we've gone in and we've recalled three players from loans. Uh, and so they have gotten back, and one of them uh, is on the bench. He was actually, th I was thinking about starting him, Johann Schnitzler. Uh, he is 18 years old. Not a bad-looking player, uh, and he, he is a good center back, very good teamwork, work rate, uh, like a lot about him, and uh, he might, you know, he'll be in the mix, uh, but we do move Abwander out to the left because Krisnik is nursing and in, coming back from injury, and he is not fully fit yet, and so most of the squad looks familiar to you. Yashin is the new one of the new guys that comes back from loan, Two and a half star current, four and a half star potential. And uh, he has played, well, is this one of the guys? Yes, he's been playing for Rostock in Bundesliga 2. And um, played for us earlier in the year, five starts. Uh, didn't play great, but uh, we've recalled him from loan due to injuries. And so he's going to be in there. Man Mazarek's going to be in there, another youngster. 17-year-old Polish midfielder. Again, not, not horrible, not great. Uh, Kramer's going to come onto the back line with Abwander moving over. Oh, the nerves are setting in. We're going to actually have to give out two squad numbers. That's nice. I let them draw their own numbers from the, from the bin, so you can't blame that on me. Um, bum, bum, bum. How about we pump the fist, fans? Or not. I don't think fans work on players. I don't think pl players give two shits about fans, to be fair. <laughs> Just my opinion. All right, we get the first big highlight. Bala. And a big save by Sully. Remember, we're on a 3-3 uh, aggregate. Oh, nice passing. Oh, look at the shot. Oh, and it bounces off the woodwork. How did he miss that? Oh, that was some brilliant passing. Oh, that would have been huge. We're going to encourage. All right, Ab Wander's gotten a card. Burnley in the yellow. Hopefully we can find a way to win the home leg. I think we did a good job with the 3-3 draw up in England. I think we did a good job there. All right, Ab Wander. Long throw. Sully makes the grab. Little worm burner there. Mazarek. 
Look at the one-two passing. Oh, uh, and Sorer. Was that Sorer or Cernan that took that shot? Couldn't tell. Deflected out of play. There's a header, and it goes wide. Oh, that was unlucky. Tell you what, Manzarek, Mazarek has been looking really good, right? Knocked away. Fala charges outside, goes near post. Easy save for Sully to lay down on that one. Let's encourage him again. All right, Gunderson. Uh, nice little give and go. Crossed in near post. Cleared out. Mm. Kramer. Back onto the attack. And Mazarek puts that one over. Got to be pretty impressed with the youngster there, huh? He has been looking really good in the highlights we've seen him. Oh, that one goes wide. No bend in it. Just laced it straight. Building from the back. Kramer. There's a nice through ball. Aslani. Don't really like him dribbling, but there's a cross, but he can't get it past Sully. Another good save. Oh, and Kramer misses it. The back line is ripped open. Janderson with a huge fingertip stop and is able to pounce on it along the touchline. Oof. I think we got very lucky there. Oh, look at the control on the sideline there by Fojo. Foyo. Oh, I think he was off sides there. Another cross coming in. I don't think Gunderson moved. I don't think Gunderson moved. Oh, that's horrible. That is a horrible call. It's going to be a penalty. Oh, man. It, go back and look at that. I don't think he moved. And a big save by Janderson. Oh, my goodness. We've got to fire him up after that, right? Gunderson on the ball. We've got a counter. Cernan's up ahead of him. Misses the, oh, misses the play. Gunderson didn't give it to him. Didn't play the ball through that first break that Cernan went to go make. He had to come back. And I think he tried to play it through right when he took a step back. Abwander with a big tackle and a block. He has not played left back all year. I don't think he's played left back since joining the team. Cernan, he's in. There's a shot, and it goes out of bounds. Good effort. One minute of stoppage time. I'm going to be very happy going in at the half, even. But we need to do something here. All right, let's pump our fist. Things are going well. I know you're capable of better. Sorare's looking, you know, not playing great. Yashin's struggling a little bit. Abwander has dropped off. Still not horrible for playing out of, out of position. Oh, taken down. Oaks, that's got to be a sending off. No, not even a card. Not even a card. Oh, Gunderson pounces on that ball. Intercept it. Plays it up to Fala. Over the top. A header. There's the shot. And another one off the woodwork. Oh, my goodness. Come on. All right, set piece. Into the box. There's a header off the woodwork again. Sully caught it on the rebound. Oh, we have been unlucky. Unlucky. All right, do I want to make a move here? We've got a couple of yellows. Kramer's playing pretty good. 
Tell you what, I'm going to bring Krisnik on for Ev Wander with his yellow. And I'm going to bring Jack Hunter on. He can play attacking mid, not left mid, but we had been training him there. Paunovic was warm for that, but we're going to bring in Jack Hunter. We're going to demand more. Come on. Offsides, it looks like, on us. Krisnik, long throw. There's the header, and it's in. It's Aslani, his 26th of the season. The forgotten man with the year Cernik's having, Saren's having. But Aslani, a huge goal. And how many have we seen him score like that? The long throw, but he gets just in front of the keeper with a flick on header, and he puts it right in the top bin. And, oh, I think we have got to, we're going to play for set pieces. We're going to do some time wasting. Slow the pace down. Oh, you hate to do that. I mean, we're going to stay positive. But we're going to start doing a little bit of time wasting, trying to get set pieces. Good defense right there. Not, as Lonnie's not who I want on defense in the box. But uh, he did a good job. <laughs> he did a good job. All right. Oh, there's a nice stab. Yashin's on it, Aslani. Oh, Saren breaks free. Can he put this? Oh, and he can't finish. We don't say that about Saren too much. Saren, Cernan. I, I can't read the small print, and I'm forgetting the names. I am wearing my glasses, but still, very small print. <laughs> O'Connor chest it down. There's a nice stab. They let him get across. Janderson makes the save. Oh, this is just dragging out here, isn't it? Through ball. Aslani. He holds it up. Into Fala. Tackled away. Krisnik gets the clearance. Keeps us on the attack. Hunter. Crossed in. There's the shot. It's Antonio Fala, his third of the season, and he might not have had a bigger one. 2-0, and we've got three away goals if we finish tied at this point. They've got, they're going to have two at the most. Oh, that's huge. He just drifted right across the spot, found some space, and put that away. Oh, he looked like a striker there. What a job by the winger. We're going to give him some praise. We've got a corner. We're picking up a lot of highlights here down the stretch. I don't know if Burnley is feeling the pressure. Slowing up pace. Doing the time wasting. Oh, there's a nice ball. Yashin, oh, he, he opened up. And there was another attempt by Mazarek. Both central mids getting into play there. Uh, let's go ahead and pull off our last sub here. We do have a couple of really tired guys. Uh, I think we bring... Well, Lopez can play out there. All right. We're going to go with that. Just fresh legs. Fresh legs. Into the box. Headed out. Gunderson back on it. We reset. Stay on the attack. They're clearing it out, but they're not able to break our midfield line, which is good. Oh, there's a nice ball. Cernan, and it's blocked. He's had a couple of good efforts today. Aslani really dragging. Kramer Gunderson on their last wind. Two more minutes. I think we've nailed it up. We are going to be going to the finals of the Euro Cup. I don't know where they're played at. Are those always, that's not a, a Wembley thing, right? Don't think that's a Wembley thing. Boy, that young midfield duo looked outstanding today. 
a 7-3 for Mazarek. Yash in a 6-5, but we saw some good highlights from him. Hunter played a 7-3 out of position. Can't be disappointed with that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, outstretched arms. Happy with the result. We needed that big. Look at the crowd. Oh, my goodness. That is great to see that crowd. Energa Gdansk. Where's that at? In the city of Gdansk. Lesia. Oh, it's in Poland. Okay. And no clue. All right, so we're going to Poland. Boy, boy. That is huge. $2.8 million. We're going to play Genoa. So they... Oh, wow. They're first in Syria. Ooh. Ooh. But they're not... I mean, I guess they're a good team, but, I mean, they don't look the key player. Ooh, my heart just skipped a little bit. Wow. Wow. Okay, he looks really good. He looks really good. Syria. They're right up there with Juventus. I can't get sued for saying Juventus on a YouTube video, right? That's non-monetized. Just saying. Um, oh, Premier League. I wanted to take a look at that. Uh, so Norwich and Lincoln have been relegated. Oh, that sucks. It was interesting seeing Lincoln up that high. Uh, Everton in the mix for relegation. Leeds secured and stays up. And what are we looking at down in the championship? Tottenham go up as champions. Notts County gets the automatic promotion, 99 points. And we will have Tranmere, West Ham, Leicester, and Portsmouth in the playoff. Have they played any of the playoffs yet? Not yet. Not yet. Those start May 9th, so a couple of days. So just kind of wanted to show you guys what was going on there. Janderson, three saves. I tell you what, I'm going to put my arm around him, and that was particularly important. Ooh, he looked really good. This penalty save was huge, huge, huge. And you can see we're now 7.9 million in the hole, 79.9 million in the red. I mean, we're going to need the 10 million just to break even, right? That's, that's horrible. Horrible. All right, what do we have left? I guess we've got one more episode after all this season. We'll come back for the highlights against uh, Leverkusen, see how we wrap up Bundesliga play, and we will be playing Genoa in the Euro Cup final. We'll do that in the next episode. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on my daily Football Manager content releases. Take care. Bye.